Linux Lewis had a glass jaw. If my grandmother hit him on the chin, he probably hit the floor. The road of the ran, all time greatest lightweight. Prince Nassim was whack, all the hype was fake. So obviously since Daniel Dubois put that beating on Anthony Joshua, his name has almost started trending. Like people keep talking about him, videos are made about him. They're doing interviews about him, talk sport are talking about him, etc, etc. Guy is everywhere because he whooped Anthony Joshua. His profile has rightfully grown and people are talking about him. And one person who's talking about him is Zili Zhang. Now Zili Zhang came out and sort of put out a, a call out video, if you can call it that. I mean, it was a little bit weird. It didn't really make much sense. But people are saying it's a call out video. And I guess it kind of is, but it wasn't a very significant one or very good one. Let's just put it that way. Now all Zili Zhang basically said was, congratulations Daniel. Well done on your win or whatever. But if me and you, and then he pointed at the camera and back to himself a couple of times, and then he made like a, a phone symbol with his hand, and that was it. Now, for all I know, right, something might have got lost in translation. And while it looks like a phone symbol to us, maybe in this culture, that symbol means I'm going to take your soul, you're useless. I don't even know, but it'd be good if it was more than just a little phone thing, because that didn't make sense. What's he saying? Phone me if you want to give me a voluntary shot. It, it makes no sense. I don't know, but. For all intents and purposes, let's call it a call out and let's just in this little hypothetical fantasy land talk about this potential fight because arguably it would be like Big Bang against Bigger Bang or maybe Big Bang against Slightly Littler Bang if you know what I mean. Like they're both probably between them the biggest punches in division 1 and 2, 2 and 1, however you want to see it. And just purely from a fight fan perspective if you know what I mean, it would be one that people would get behind. But I have to be honest with you guys, like I've spoken about the potential Martin Piccoli Zilli Zhang fight and I think as of right now I still prefer Zhang to fight Martin Piccoli than potentially Daniel Dubois. But if for some reason Anthony Joshua doesn't exercise his rematch clause or doesn't try and force a rematch on Daniel Dubois and he's allowed to do whatever he wants and with Zhang these days I believe he's a Queensbury fighter maybe they'll see his in-house fighter maybe they'll look to have Daniel Dubois fight Zilli Zhang as a voluntary and I have to be honest with you guys if Daniel Dubois was to fight Zilli Zhang as a voluntary that is a gangster move because why the hell would you want to do that? Zilli Zhang is dangerous plus Styles make fights and Daniel Dubois while he just put a whopping on Anthony Joshua it may transpire that his style, at least for the first six rounds or so, maybe five rounds or so, is ideal for Zili Zhang to do some of his best works, land some big punches and potentially even stop Daniel Dubois. Because you guys got to remember, like, Usyk didn't have any trouble finding Daniel Dubois in that fight. He was connecting pretty much whenever he wanted to. Now, you guys are going to say, oh yeah, Usyk is one level and Zhang is another. Yeah, fair enough, but they're both southpaws. And guy enough what I've seen, Daniel Dubois isn't the best at fighting southpaws. There is that argument there. And then you got the exact same argument that people had for Daniel Dubois going into the Anthony Joshua fight. And that is, even though you make Anthony Joshua a favourite, no one was completely right enough Daniel Dubois. Even though everyone picked Anthony Joshua, no one was completely right enough Daniel Dubois because he had that dynamite there. And as things transpired, that dynamite was a telling factor. So it's the same situation with Zhang. Like, he's got everything he needs to beat Daniel Dubois. The only thing working against him potentially is age. But he's good for a few rounds. So if he could get to Daniel Dubois in that time, potentially we'd be looking at a new heavyweight champion of the world from China. But realistically, I can't see Daniel Dubois giving them a voluntary, even if he is with the Queensbury stable. It's too dangerous for Daniel Dubois. Zhang, for my opinion, is kind of in the Who Needs Him club. Plus, as things stand, you'd probably assume that Daniel Dubois is going to wait for the winner of Alexander Usyk and Tyson Fury. And he might need to go through Anthony Joshua again to almost guarantee that shot at the winner of Alexander Usyk and Tyson Fury. But at the end of the day... I don't think he'd voluntarily fight Zhang unless he was being offered a ridiculous purse. It's a dangerous fight. It's one that he might not win, even though, even though he probably will. It kind of would only make sense if it was like high risk, high reward. So unless Turkey's going to pay a substantial purse to Daniel Dubois to fight Zili Zhang, I can't see him headlining his own card with Zili Zhang maybe doing, I don't know, O2 Arena. Like Daniel Dubois, yes, he beat Anthony Joshua. Yes, people are talking about him. But is that going to result in people buying Daniel Dubois pay-per-views when he's next out or filling arenas for Daniel Dubois. I don't really know to be honest with you guys. I'll be interested to see how that side of it works because we all saw him whoop Anthony Joshua. He is trending now. Everyone's talking about him. It was an exciting fight. He put on a devastating performance. There's no reason why other than like the fact that he doesn't have much character outside of the ring. There's no reason why he shouldn't be able to sell pay-per-views. He shouldn't be able to sell tickets and he shouldn't be able to generate massive purses for himself. But I suppose that's another video for another day. As of right now, Zili Zhang has kind of called out Daniel Dubois. I'd have to make Daniel Dubois a favourite in that fight, but I do believe Zhang would be 
extremely live for the first six rounds. And I wouldn't be surprised if he was to clock him at some point. Because Zhang is powerful. So is Daniel Dubois. It'll make an interesting fight one day. But Zhang is getting older by the minute. Layers.